Hello and welcome to TechScript video tutorial on how to migrate existing Access database to Office 365. My name is Said Abdul Khaliq. I'm an IT consultant focused on SharePoint technology for many years. Before we move to today's topic, let me introduce my company. TechScript Solutions Inc. was founded in 2008. We are based in Michigan, focused on Microsoft technologies, especially in SharePoint, Project Server, and dynamic CRM. We have provided SharePoint project server solutions to big and small companies. I believe in SharePoint where ROI and value added possibilities are not limited to a single approach. For more information please leave us a comment or contact us through our website. Having said that let's get started on today's topic how to migrate existing access database to Office 365. Today's agenda we are going to cover a create access web app, import Northwind database table from existing database, publish database, access database using SQL Studio. Office 365 allows you to create and manage your access application using access database and it also allows you to connect to a database using SQL Management Studio. After all, in SharePoint 2013, access services is stored in a SQL database. This brings us to our demo on how to migrate access database to Office 365. Let's create an access web app in Office 365. To do that, open a web browser and type in your Office 365 site URL. Here I have already opened my demo site for Office 365. Click on the settings. Let's create an access web app in Office 365. To do that, I'm going to click on settings and add an app. Here, type in access. This will give you an access app. Click on it and enter uh, a name. Access 1 and click create button. Click on Access SP Access 1 to open the Access Web App. Click on Open this app in Access to start adding tables. And click Open. Click OK. Here we have our Access Web App open in Microsoft Access 2013. To start adding existing uh, database tables um, and data to uh, Access Web App, click on Access, create a table from an existing data source and we have an Access Database to import the tables. Click the browse to select the existing database location. And click OK. This gives you the the option to import all the tables that are available in our access database. We're going to select employees and this will also give you the options to import uh, the data definition only or definition table definitions and data as well. So you can choose um, definition and data and as well as uh, import relationships. Click OK to import employees table. All objects were imported successfully. Click close. Now if you right click on employees table and view data, you will see all the data has been imported successfully.
quick save. Click home and launch the app. Now that we see our employees table uh, in a SharePoint site. <coughs> okay, so now that we know the the tables and the data has already been in been imported from an existing table we'll see how to connect uh, um, this backend SQL database uh, in Microsoft SQL Studio. For that uh, I'm going to open SQL Studio and go back to the database access database and click on file info and we have before we can uh, connect to the SQL database we have to enable connections so from any location enable read write connection and view read write connection information this will gives you gives you the server name database name and username and password uh, for read write Let's copy this information select authentication type as SQL server authentication Select the username and as well as the password. <coughs> and click on options and data connect to the database we have to provide the database name. So let's copy the database name and click connect. And we are ready to connect to the database. And if you expand the database and expand the tables and you will see that we have access.employees table over here. And if you expand the columns, you have the login information, full name, email address. Uh, we can um, run a query and execute, and we get all the information over here. Now, what else can we do um, with uh, uh, SQL backend? Well, basically, we can create constraints. We can create triggers. Uh, if we are using this uh, for search, we can create uh, indexes um, as well um, as a key column. So this brings us uh, to the end of uh, today's demo. Here's my LinkedIn profile uh, if you guys would like to know more uh, with regards to how to migrate uh, access uh, database to Office 365 or have any suggestions on this topic. Uh, please don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, if you like the videos, um, uh, please click on like button. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you soon.